Hi everyone! Long time no face-to-face -face video, which is something that I say in most face-to-face -face videos nowadays. Um, so not really an excuse, but I thought I would film and post a paint my nails with me video because I haven't done one of those in a long time. It happens to also be one of those times where I thought, you know, fun, easy content would be appreciated by some of you out there. Um, if you guys haven't seen the most recent video I posted, which was actually yesterday, depending on the day that you see this, and depending on the day that I post this, the most recent video that I posted was actually a mask making tutorial. And it wasn't even the most recent video because I'm posting this two and a half months late. By the way, I'm at work. I edit videos on my lunch break, so that's why I'm at work and editing videos anyway. And also my most recent video was a nail polish video. It is a live swatch of the brand Dior Couture, which is a black owned business. Check them out. I will link Dior Couture down below. That wasn't even the most recent video because since I posted the Dior Couture video, I also posted a like speed up swatch of the Holo Taco Rainbow Collection. So like really, I'm like so behind on posting this video. Um, and that mask making tutorial is, will be linked down below, but um, is why there's all this fabric back over here. This background, probably one of my best backgrounds. That's, that's a quick little update on, um, on things and I hope you guys are doing well. I know that um, it's kind of a weird thing to hear that from someone on the internet that's not speaking to you face to face, but um, I, I sincerely hope that you guys are doing well and staying safe and staying healthy and staying home and doing your best um, to help kick the pandemic. I am going to do a paint my nails with me and actually I'm doing a very specific paint my nails with me because um, Christine, Simply Nail Logical, and her nail polish company, Hollow Taco, are doing a like weekly nail polish nail art challenge. Let me pull it up on my phone. And I thought it would be really fun. I believe the paint my nails nail art competition, I'm not doing this to like compete. I'm really just doing this because I wanna paint my nails. Um, but I figured this would be really fun, the weekly nail art challenge. The Hollow Taco nail art competition for this week, um, the theme is unicorns. And it says it's ending April 2nd, it's April 1st today. So I do have to film this and um, like upload it <laughs> as soon as possible. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Again, I hope you guys are doing okay through all of this and doing well. And um, I'm happy to chat with anyone via Instagram or Twitter or YouTube comments. I know I'm really bad at YouTube comments, but I'm happy to be there if anyone wants to just say hi or chat or talk about nail polish or talk about any other random thing. I can try and have a conversation with you about it. Except sports. I don't know very much about sports. Or construction. But most of the other things I can kind of figure out how to have a conversation with you about it. So if you guys do want to chat, I'll link down my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, and you guys can comment in the comments down below and yeah. Anyways, let's get started on painting my nails. I have to say there is a little bit of pride in the fact that I've been using this same piece of paper and like the same Sephora play box to paint my nails on for like years. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear that howling, but in my town we have had, um, howling every night at 8 p.m. during this whole thing as like the nightly roll call howl for like my city and it's kind of crazy but it's also like a little bit endearing that's really the only word I have for it but yeah if you guys can hear that it's like the whole town is doing it okay so um, howling aside I've generally decided what I'm gonna do um, this is underwear by rescue beauty lounge this is my current favorite white base coat. It is super, super opaque in one coat. I, again, haven't bought the new Holo Taco white nail polish, but that's probably going to be the polish that I use to replace this once this one dies, um, but I love this stuff. Um, I have this, and I also have one coat black from Holo Taco, so I am going to do a little bit of a gradient with those on one nail and layer on a 
bunch of sort of iridescent nail polishes. This is from H or Enfuo. This is Enfuo number 40, which is an iridescent flaky. I also have this guy from China Glaze. This is an iridescent glitter in the color this one's for you. I also have this guy from Essie, which is the iridescent flaky that Essie came out with a while ago called Shine of the Times. It's absolutely stunning. Um, this bit is, a, is the, the flakies that I'm using are definitely inspired by the unicorn skin flakies that um, Hello Taco came out with, but this is what I have in my stash. Um, and I'm gonna use these. Um, these are all, these five polishes are also alternative flakies that I have to use for this. So these three are from Pa Nail Polish, which I can show you guys like this. Um, that's a Japanese brand. I don't actually know, like this is AA39, this is AA38, and this is AA40. Like those are their names, but they are iridescent flakies. You guys can see there. And these two are from Picture Polish. This one is called Hypnotic, and this one is called Festival. Again, just variations on the iridescent flaky train. So I'm gonna use a lot of those and layer them up. On um, one of the nails, I am gonna do a galaxy nail look. So I have these pastels. I thought that'd be kind of cute and unicorny. And then I also have these guys. These are Holo Taco linear and scattered Holo Tacos. So yeah, that's the generic plan and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so yeah, I finally decided what I'm gonna do. This is, again, this first nail is going to be a white to pink vertical gradient. This is gonna be galaxy, this is gonna be galaxy, and this is going to be like the dark purple to black gradient. Um, and on these two nails, I'm going to do my index and pinky nail, I'm gonna do the flakies. And then these two nails are probably going to just be hollow and we'll move on from there. Okay, I literally forgot how to do galaxy nails, so I did do a coat of the blue, the light blue, and then a coat of the light purple on my nail. Um, as the base for the galaxy. The light purple is Do You Lilac It by OPI, and the light blue is Lapis of Luxury by Essie. Um, and I just did one thin coat over the white. And while that dries, I am gonna just move on to the gradient on my index finger. So I did think about it and the flakies that I'm gonna use are these two, the Enfuo number 40 and then the Essie Shine of the Times. This one has a more fire-like uh, reflect in it whereas this one has a little bit more of a blue. So what I'm going to do is actually gradient them horizontally over this nail and this nail and then you'll get the, um, like both shades of the flaky on both colors if that makes any sense. So I have my sponge here. I am going to get my um, SC first and put that on top like this and let that kind of sink in. This isn't, you know, it's not gonna be as like seamless of a gradient as regular cream polishes are gonna be, but you are gonna get that, um, at least that like the two different tones of flakies in there. So I sponged it around a little bit more and now I have a fresh sponge with a little bit of white on it and I am gonna do that like accent of white in the lightest bits of the galaxy.
this is everything. It actually turned out pretty well, surprisingly. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'll totally make my day. Again, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And if you guys need anything um, or you guys want to talk, let me know in the comments down below or on Instagram and Twitter, and I would happy to stop by and say hi. And otherwise, um, again, take care of yourselves and stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you guys soon.